Hi everyone, this is Kevin again, and it is September 24th, and um, there was a lot of things that went on today. Uh, <laughs> uh, also, I'm going to show you something in a little bit that was kind of interesting that I encountered yesterday and uh, also today, and it's really kind of sad, and it has to do with uh, the church in America today. But the first thing I want to talk about today is obviously the Pope, you know, came and spoke before Congress. And uh, Jeffrey Greider over at Now the End Begins had a pretty good article afterwards. And he said, you know, the Pope never even, didn't even start out his speech with a prayer. This man is supposed to be the holiest man on earth, according to the Catholic Church. And yet he didn't even start out with a prayer. He's supposed to be the vicar of Christ on earth. Didn't start with a prayer. And didn't any, at any time during the speech even mention the name Jesus Christ at all. Okay? He only spe he speaks about climate change and social issues and so forth. He, he mentioned the name Abraham Lincoln and Martin Luther King several times, over and over again. And, and it was almost like he was just talking about like how you know about American history and things like this but he also made mention he's not for the death penalty and he also calls illegal immigrants over here he calls them pilgrims and we should readily accept them in and uh, that kind of thing so uh, basically he made that speech then he came out um, after that he came out to uh, kind of out on the front out in the front of the, the Capitol building up on a balcony and waved to everybody, and he, and he said a few things out there to the, the thousands of people that were at the National Mall out in front of the Capitol building <laughs> there to see him. Uh, all these deluded people that were there to see him, you know, and uh, just clapping and cheering for him. And there was a big, uh, a big TV screen, huge TV screen they had put up out there in the National Mall because they had a camera looking at, at him and so they could see him better all throughout the National Mall and Christine White God bless her she came there to DC to cover all this and had her signs you know showing you know, telling people not to to uh, worship this man not to believe this man the Pope and and everything but she got a little bit of video while he was up there doing that and she put it on the Facebook and uh, so that went on today but another thing that happened also this morning kind of early was there was a, uh, a stampede there in Mecca in Saudi Arabia and you know they're having the Hajj right now which is a pilgrimage they do once a year and it's at this time of year when they do it and uh, where people come from all over the world to Mecca and they have to go there to Mecca and they they go in a circle around the Kaaba which is the building that's like their most holy site. That's where they're praying towards. When they pray towards Mecca, they're praying towards the Kaaba. But they have to go there at least once in their lifetime, the Muslims. At least once in their lifetime, they have to make this pilgrimage called the Hajj. And then they circle around this Kaaba. They just walk around. You can see it on video on Ustream live. They're doing this constantly. People just walking around this thing. So anyway... Um, Another thing that they do there uh, during the Hajj is this thing where they go up to an area. Uh, they make this, they walk up to this area where there's these three walls and they pick up stones and throw them at the walls and it's like they're throwing stones at the devil. <laughs> you know, and it's kind of funny because that's who they worship, but they're throwing stones at the devil. Okay, well, while they were doing that this morning, this morning our time while they were doing that there were so many of them that they actually ended up walking over top of each other stampeded each other they got too much of a hurry and the last count I saw it might be higher the last count I saw was 717 people dead and like 800 and something people injured and never mind that all that happened but they continued on with this ritual they continued on with the ritual it didn't bother them a bit 
they had ambulances come there for, for the bed, dead bodies and injured and stuff. But they continued on. These people con continued on to do this event no matter what. And it shows how bloodthirsty Islam is. It shows they care nothing at all for human life. And uh, there again, so, it, you know, first we had the crane falling into the, in through the mosque and killing people only about a week or two ago. And now we have... <laughs> Uh, and actually it was on 9-11 and then also now we have all this, this stampede at the Hajj going on so anyway those are two big events that happened today and I'm sure there's going to be more happening this week the Pope is going to be going to New York City next he's going to be I think speaking at the United Nations tomorrow eventually he's going to be in Philadelphia uh, I think on Saturday and uh, and on part of Sunday as well and he's going to be leaving Sunday wrapping it up and going back to Rome okay and then on Sunday night uh, that's when the uh, blood moon eclipse of the, the last blood moon eclipse of the Tetrad is going to be on Sunday night early Sunday morning you know that time frame uh, it's going to be about 547 in the morning Jerusalem time when they see it in Israel when it's the when it's complete when it's the uh, full blood moon okay uh, before the sun is rising they're going to see that blood moon there we're going to see it in North America very well and the United States is going to see it very well you know if you're unless it's cloudy but uh, we're going to see the whole thing especially those on the east coast um, so we have all these things that are coming up to look forward to and, and the next thing I'm going to show you is um, I'm going to go to I'm going to show you something that happened with a, a church and a thing that's going to be going on in my area this weekend. But there's a church that uh, that's not very far from me where I live right now. It's just down the road, and I'm going to show you to uh, show you something about that next. Okay.